Hi everyone, Diane Leonard from DH Leonard Consulting here. Wanted to talk to you today about what do we do when a grant maker doesn't let us communicate with them prior to award? When they say, nope, no phone calls, nope, no emails, just send in your proposal. What is an organization to do? Well, the big question is, are you asking your board members and the leadership at your organization if they have any connections with that grant maker? We use something called the relationship questionnaire. Sounds fancy. Nope, it's not. It's a document where we put in the list of grant makers, board and staff members. We then circulate that among the organization's board members and the leadership for that grant seeking organization. We say, hey, do you know anybody on this list? Maybe they know them from Rotary, maybe from PTO, from church, you never know. But asking your board, asking your leadership if they know anyone at a foundation by name isn't going to work as well as sharing the list of those that are actually on the board or staff at the foundation. This is a really important practice because once we circulate that list, if we identify any potential contacts, any good connections, we can ask for a warm introduction. That's really the only way that when we see a grant maker that won't allow communication prior to application, that's really the only way that we might stand a chance to have any sort of interaction. But it's not always going to work. And in that case, we have to follow the grant maker's instructions not communicate with them prior to the application and do our best work to create a competitive application and hit submit.